welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be dyeing these bundles right here red and this is a 16 inch closure 18 20 and 22 all in deep wave and this is from allure beauty and i'm gonna have the link in the description box as to how you can get in contact with her to get these gorgeous bundles and i will be using these colors to dye the hair so i have three magenta and three red then i have some salon care 40 volume cream developer i'm gonna be mixing it in this <laughs> i'm gonna be mixing it in this it was some bleaching here but this has been washed out so yeah and i'm gonna be using this foil right here to process the hair so let's get into this video so to get the color, I'm mixing one tube of the magenta and one tube of the red. And then I'll start pouring the 40 volume developer in. And once I get the consistency that I like, I'm gonna start putting it on the bundles. You just got to keep mixing and pouring, mixing and pouring until you get a nice consistency. You don't want it to be too thick. You don't want it to be too runny, but you want it to be the perfect consistency to where it seeps through all the hair and gets on all the strands. Now that I'm done mixing, I'm just grabbing me a piece of foil. So once I get done putting the dye on the hair, I can just set it on this foil and wrap it up. Now I'm putting the dye on the hair and all I can say is make sure you get every strand. And y'all, I know I don't have on any gloves. And yes, my nails did get stained, but I really didn't care. For the purpose of this video, I decided to only show you all me dyeing one bundle because I know y'all don't want to sit through watching me dye three bundles and a closure. So I'm only showing y'all this one bundle 
and the closure. And now that I'm done putting the dye on this one bundle, I'm about to wrap it in the foil so I can let it sit in process. And now I'm starting on the closure. When you're dyeing the closure, make sure that you try not to get the dye on the lace. I did get some dye on the lace and you'll see it a little later on in the video, but it's in a spot where it really wouldn't matter because you wouldn't be wearing your part way on that side of the closure anyway. But just be careful while you're doing this and go slow. I know that this makes it look like I'm going really, really fast, but I'm really not. Like I was actually taking my time. Y'all see that spot that I was talking about? Like, it's okay if you get right there. Nobody's about to be wearing their part all the way over there. But after I finished the closure, I let the bundles in the closure sit for about an hour to process. After washing the bundles out, I made the wig, and y'all, I made this wig for somebody else, but I really wanted to keep this for myself. But thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next video.